Hello and welcome back to the Geshu.com Incorporated video tutorial series. In this video we will, deal, we will be dealing with Instagram and creating an Instagram app. Uh, at Geshu.com we create products for social media and uh, growth hacking for CMS systems, WordPress, Drupal, and a number of others. In some of those products we um, have integrated the ability to communicate, either posting or reading or, or connecting with people, uh, via Instagram. In order for those features of our products to work, you need to create an a, a, a Instagram app. And so we're going to show you how to do that really quickly. In order to create an app, you have to have an Instagram account. So first, register an Instagram for an account. Once you have your account, or if you, or if you already do have an account, log in. And then visit www.instagram.com slash developer. This URL right here. Once you're logged in and on this you on this uh, web page, you'll see um, a few different uh, navigation tabs here uh, at, top, at the top. We want manage clients. They call it a client. We call it an app. Facebook calls it an app. Most uh, instances call it an app and not a client. You'll see here that we already have a client. Well, we're going to create a new one just to show you the process. So you click on register a new client, and here we have the form for creating a new Instagram app that we're going to use in our product um, and set up the settings. So the application name. Do not use Instagram, IG, Insta, or Gram in your app name. Otherwise you'll get an invalid uh, um, error report once you click submit. So um, testing app. Company name, website URL, valid redirect URIs. The redirect URI specifies where we redirect users. So we need this installed so that when our product communicates with Instagram or authenticates with Instagram to do an action, uh, post something to Instagram, read something, search, etc. Um, that Instagram could then send the successful authentication notification back to our website and then we can go along the process of doing what we need. Um, for today we're going to use the social auto poster that we showed you how to install in one of our previous videos. We're going to go to the settings section and then we're going to scroll down to our Instagram section Here's, we call it a callback URL. Most people actually call it a callback URL. Here Instagram calls it a redirect URI. We're going to paste that in there. Our privacy URL. And a contact email. Then we need to enter in the CAPTCHA. Click on register. So, our app is successfully created. Guess you test what we just created. So now if we want to set up the settings on Instagram for our social media auto poster, we want to enable it. We need the client ID and the client secret. Click on manage. So here is our client ID. Simply take that here, paste it in, then here's our client secret. Go back here, paste it in, we save changes. So with respect to the social media auto poster, we now have Instagram uh, connected to the social media auto poster. We can click on list accounts and we'll see that we can add an Instagram account. For us, it doesn't matter if it's in sandbox mode because we're the only ones who are going to be using it. So now I've added my Instagram account to the social media auto poster, again, that we showed you how to uh, install in previous video. Now I can set up the um, Instagram username. Actually, that's going to be here. Sorry.
I could select what content types I want to post to Instagram. For example, I could have um, the weather, I could have uh, sports tickers, I could have the t-shirts that I sell or whatever. They have different content types within my WordPress because they're different, you know, they may have a different layout or um, that's just the way the theme was that I purchased. So I can select which content type I want to post to this Instagram account. Then I can select which categories of this content type should be posted. For example, I could have pages and those pages are under specific categories and they could be posted. And then I could say which content needs should be posted to Instagram the title the actual content itself or an image that's associated with this content and then lastly we have our cron job URL this needs to run in order for this Instagram page to be updated we set it for every 15 minutes or so so that once the content is created this runs after 15 minutes and then posts it to Instagram for you so that is how we create an Instagram app and set it up in our individual products where Instagram is integrated. Again, in this case, we took the social auto poster. We also have the Facebook crawler, not Instagram, but another product of ours. We have the canvas image where this you could use to create images with cool text and lines and then have that posted to your different social media channels. You can do it from your cell phone, you can do it from your desktop. Um, we then have the social media viral builder which allows you to hide either the entire article or the entire piece of content or little snippets inside. For example, um, you write an article and then you have a, 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 a table of, of statistics. You can hide that table of statistics with this the only way the viewer can see it is if they like or they share this entire article on their own social media channel. Or it can work for PDF downloads. You know, you have a, uh, um, a, a you wrote up a great article about growth hacking or, you know, why Spreadshirt's the best t-shirt seller in the world. And you want people to download it, but you want it to go viral. So you hide it behind this, um, this, this viral builder. And the only way that people can download it is if they share it to their own friends in their own social media channel. We also have a Twitter manager product. We have a Twitter auto reply product. We have a Twitter crawler, which is the same as Facebook crawler, only for Twitter, where it goes out to Twitter, grabs content, and creates it, recreates it on your own on your own website. Then we have Twitter search for uh, finding customers. So I hope this uh, tutorial was helpful for you in terms of how to create an Instagram account as well as how to implement it into the guestshoot.com um, WordPress product. And I look forward to seeing you on the next video. Thank you.